here is we're going to take our seedlings and we're going to put them into a larger pot. The idea is to help them to grow and get stronger before we actually put them outdoors full time. Now you know we've had a little trouble with the dampening this season. Now what I wanted to show you was this is kind of what it did. See how thin that stem is? It's considerably thicker than it was. And the tomato plant here, which is a brandy wine, has done really well. But you see how he's still kind of spindly. So what we're going to do is I'm going to transplant that into this bigger pot and we're probably going to put it under the earth about to here. And this will really establish the roots. So the idea is we want to be very gentle when we do it. And what I've done is I've already put some of the seed starter that we originally used. And it's in here and I've got a water jug ready to water. So I'm just going to take this and kind of dampen it down because I'm wanting the actual plant, the whole thing to fit in here only a little bit deeper and then I'm going to cover, fill it up with dirt. Okay, so I need to take a little bit more of that out, it's a little bit too much. Dig a little hole in there again and let's put this in here and let's see. That's looking even better, so that's, that's going to be good. That'll be much better. And that puts it almost to the bottom. So I'm looking at, you know, if I put it way to the bottom, see how much is going to come up the top. So that's pretty good. And all I'm going to do, it's already wet. I watered them earlier. And I'm going to tip it upside down and just squeeze this so that I can gently pull out. And we can see some of the roots that it's already established, which is really good. You want to be very, very careful because you don't want to break that stem. You can break the leaves, but not the stem. And then I'm just going to pour a little bit of dirt. This is how it looks inside. And this actually, I'm not sure, I, th I think that might be cilantro. I'm actually going to put a little water in it at this point, just on the outer edge, just so that I make sure I get some water in there. And I'm going to now just fill it up. I'm holding the stem very delicately as I fill it up. You don't want to break that stem, so you want to be very careful. And you can kind of pat it down just gently. And I'm going to go ahead and pour in the rest of that. And then fit it around there and then kind of pat it down. Now when I water this it'll go down even more and I put this on a tray because the thing has holes down at the bottom so I didn't want, I want to eventually water it from the bottom. <clears throat> and So you can see how that water is settling right quick as it's going through this is going to allow our plant to get much more uh, root system before we have to put it in the ground. And considering that it was in a weakened state prior to that, we wanted to <clears throat> go ahead and give it a better chance. And it's not going to hurt the production any. I mean, you know, <laughs> it wouldn't give us any, any yield right now anyway. So I think the more chance we give it, the better off we'll be. And so that's basically it. I'm going to set it back in over here. You see there's already water down in here. Let's come over here and I'm going to put it back in here so that I can water it from underneath or you can put a saucer under there or whatever. The next plant that I'm wanting to do just to show you what you're wanting is we have, this is the uh, green pepper and see I didn't fill it all the way full so when I put it into one of these containers like this, it's actually going to come down like this. So I'm going to cover some of their stems as well so that the dirt probably comes up to here. And I'll be do doing the same process. The basil, I'm going to put more in this one because I want it to, uh, I want to actually grow it in here. They do better in a container anyways. So I'll grow it in here for a while and then maybe put it in a bigger pot if it gets too much. And then here's my cabbage plant, and I'm going to do the same thing with it. I'm going to put it under dirt till about right here. The, the stalk is very 
strong right now, but it's much more stronger up at the top. So I want to give more support to this and let this develop more root system before I actually put it into the ground. And I think this will salvage uh, what could have been a catastrophe in the end. So we've got several plants that we're going to transplant and put in all big buckets like that and leave them for probably about four to six weeks um, before we put them in the ground.